Hello everyone. Uh, I named this video uh, I will have my revenge for a very specific reason. Uh, this next game was played in a tournament in Bled 1961. And there you have a very nice lake. And uh, Bobby was on a small boat with his friend Dmitria Bielica. And uh, Dmitria says that uh, Bobby was just staring at the sky and repeating I will have my revenge. And of course he was talking about Mikhail Tal. Uh, if you've seen in my previous video, uh, in the candidates tournament in 1959, two years ago, Bobby lost four games to Mikhail Tal uh, in a row. And uh, he also had one other encounter with Mikhail Tal in 1960 Olympiad in Leipzig, uh, where he played uh, first board for the United States and Tal was playing first board for the Soviets. And uh, that game was drawn. So this is uh, another chance for Bobby to get his revenge. Uh, but this isn't the same Bobby Tal was uh, used to playing. This is 18-year-old uh, Bobby and he no longer wears his colorful sweater. He now wears an elegant suit. Uh, there's a story that uh, Bobby heard that one man in England has 240 suits and uh, that he is considered to be the most elegant man in the world. And Bobby said that he would like to break this record and uh, own uh, even more than 240 suits. And at the time of this game he had 17 suits. But let's get to the game. Uh, Bobby Fischer is white and Mikhail Tal is black. So Bobby goes e4, c5, knight to f3, knight to c6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, and now e6, the time of variation of the Sicilian. Knight to c3, queen to c7, and now g3, preparing bishop g2. And in this next move, Tal makes a mistake. And if you play this uh, variation of the Sicilian, I'm sure this happened to you at least once in your life. Uh, you have to go a6, a6, and after bishop g2, go knight f6. Uh, but Tal played knight to f6. Maybe he was daydreaming or something. Uh, I don't know how he could miss this. Uh, and uh, from this move on, uh, Bobby plays with uh, with uh, with an engine like precision. So he goes knight to b5, attacking the queen. Uh, Tal goes queen to b8, uh, bishop to f4, attacking the queen. And uh, here black can play black can go e5 here, uh, which leads to a Sveshnikov like system. Uh, but uh, this was considered to be pretty bad uh, at the time this game was played. So instead Tal played the uh, knight to e5 <clears throat> and this is a disastrous move as bobby proves uh, he plays bishop to e2 bishop to c5 uh, bobby captures bishop takes on e5 queen takes on e5 and now f4 kicking the queen back to b8 and now he goes e5 and the problem is uh, this knight has nowhere to go uh, he can go g4 h5 uh, this is if he goes d5 he loses a pawn uh, the only place he can go to is uh, b8, uh, g8, but if you retur retrieve your knight to g8, it's like you conceded the game. So Tal tries a6, and uh, here we have e takes f6, a takes b5, f takes g7, uh, Fischer wins a pawn here, uh, rook to g8, knight to e4, this is all uh, engine, engine moves. Uh, bishop to e7, queen to d4, a rook to a4, attacking the queen, and now knight to f6, check, pinning the king and the rook. Bishop captures, queen captures, <clears throat> queen to c7, uh, Fischer plays uh, long castle, rook captures on a2, king to b1, and rook to a6. And here uh, Tal could have played uh, queen to a5, but uh, it uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, Fischer, uh, if queen to a5, b3, and this queen is protecting everything and uh, well with Tal's doubled pawns he can't really break this. So Tal saw this and he played the rook to a6. And uh, in this position uh, the engines suggest bishop to h5 and uh, this is crushing. Black cannot defend. Uh, but uh, this is the first move where Fischer doesn't play by the engine and uh, I guess he decided if he already lost four games to Mikhail Tal uh, this next game he plays against him, he wants to beat him in the style of Mikhail Tal himself. And here Bobby plays bishop takes on b5. Uh, Tal plays the rook to b6, bishop to d3, and Tal plays e5. 
and this is the moment where Fisher really goes all out. He plays f takes e5, sacrificing his queen. Uh, Tal captures the queen, e takes an f6, queen goes to uh, c5, and now he captures uh, the pawn on h7, attacking the rook. Queen to g5, Fisher captures the rook, uh, queen takes f6, rook to f1, queen takes an g7, bishop captures an f7 check, king to d8, and now bishop to e6, spinning the king. Uh, queen to h6, attacking the pawn, bishop captures, bishop captures, and now pinning the bishop, of course, queen captures an h2, uh, Tal captures, uh, Fisher captures the bishop, and now this position is uh, completely winning for white, but uh, Tal plays a couple of more moves. Uh, here we have some repeating of the position, uh, and here Fisher pushes g4, and uh, the pawn cannot be taken, uh, because if uh, queen takes on g4, then simply rook to h1, and this is winning. Uh, so Tal went queen to h3, g5, queen to f3, rook to e1 check, king to f8, rook takes on b5, king g7, rook to b6, queen to g3, rook d1, queen to c7, rook to d6, queen to c8, b3, king h7, and rook to a6. And in this position Tal finally resigned and uh, Fischer won his first game against the magician from Riga. Uh, after this uh, game ended, Tal said in a humorous uh, tone that uh, he learned this tournament that uh, it indeed was possible to lose a game against Bobby. And uh, Mikhail Tal was watching, uh, Mikhail Botvinnik was watching this game and uh, he was uh, very satisfied with uh, both of them and uh, he said that, um, well, in the next 15 years that uh, these two will be fighting for the throne. And he was kind of right, uh, Fischer did go for the throne, uh, but Mikhail Tal, well, his illness got the better of him. Uh, so yeah, this is the game, this is how uh, Fischer won his first game against Mikhail Tal. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did, uh, here on the left you will have two of my previous videos, sorry about that. And uh, you can also check those out. So thank you for your time and uh, feel free to leave a comment, uh, I really enjoy reading all of your comments, and uh, see you soon.